everyone, my name is Lily, and welcome back to Control? It sounded like for a second someone was trying to come through the door, but I think it was just my imagination. Now hold on a sec, because I was told, and I kept forgetting, that uh, the stuff from the hotlines is actually expanded on? Wait, okay, so let's watch... Let, I, okay, easy. Let's watch Hartman's final act because we are technically pursuing Hartman right now. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained. Fragmented impulses on autoplay. Violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC. Brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose. Killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't, and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless. But weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Are you telling me that we are fighting a hiss infected darkness? Or like a shadow? Because they called them the shadow, I think, last time. But that is so freaking sick. And yeah, it looks like they have been expanded on. So let's go ahead and do the third thing as well. Because we've heard Faden rides the elevator. Resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both change what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost... An Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, baby. Baby, yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Okay, okay. Just trying to digest what we just got. That was quite a lot. That was quite a lot. I'm really excited. To see all of that now. Um, let's. I suppose that we're going through here. I am just. Everything is just destroyed. Can I? What? Oh my lord! Wow, 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 wow. They hit hard. What the hell? We are like two seconds into this and they are already kicking my ass. I think it would be better if I also paid attention to what was going on because clearly. That 
that went a lot smoother than the last time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I need, I need Albert. Where's Albert? There it is. And we have to do this here. Okay. Do I have anything in here? Because, yes, something? Don't know what it is. There's a box. Uh, Albert is here and I need to take him with me because there might be more. Okay, I, I keep getting distracted by the effect on him because it's- that's my magic doing that. It's not anything else. But I'm just like, wow, it looks so cool. It's because when I use it in fights, I don't really have enough time to, to look at it, right? I like the strategy of just throwing stuff. Oh. Definitely makes it a lot easier. That's for sure. Because you- because those guys explode, right? So it's like you cannot be anywhere near them. Otherwise, they are gonna beat the shit out of your ass. I do very much love the grenade launcher, though. Don't really know what I did with Albert, but if we're lucky, we'll find another one. I see. Okay. I was like, I can, I can definitely hear something in that room, and then I started to see the stuff, and now I don't know where my light went. So I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with that. Man, what did I? If I had a little bit more self-control, I wouldn't be throwing it. Oh, nope, that's not him. There's another one there too. There's got to be another light. There's no way that they would just give you one and be like, "That's it. Good luck." Oh my, you can hear them all around and they sound so sick. God, I can't see shit. Oh! Okay, lovely. Let's go back, because I do see that there's some things that we can interact with in the corner, but... One thing at a time before I get too distracted and forget! Ah! Oh, okay, so I have to turn on the power somewhere. I'll come back. Because I... I'm gonna get rid of all of the darkness blobs first. It's a tree. You're right, yeah. I see. Cool. Okay, and then over here is what exactly? Okay. Oh! Okay, just take it easy, take it easy. This, and then this. Shun. Oh, I didn't mean to interact. I mean, I didn't mean to find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. So that's what Shun was. Because in a couple episodes ago, they were like, hey, do you want a Shun? And I was like, what the hell does that even mean? That makes sense. Okay, so it's an altered arcade game. Cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the time to play it, but we'll at least take a look, right? Because why the heck not? That is not it. I'm playing so many games sometimes that I get confused about which buttons do what thing. Still, I, I don't think that'll ever be something that I can fix. Where is it even? It's gotta be... it's gotta be further along. It's gotta be further along. I'll take... Oh. Okay, where's Albert? Because I feel like I might need him. There he is. Come, baby, come. We're gonna go take a look downstairs, see what's making all that noise, and ask them to kindly lower their volume because it's time to go to bed. Damn it. Oh no! 
no, 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 no. <laughs> Where did Albert go? Hello? Okay, I gotta run out into the light, I guess. Where did Albert go? He like... I came down and he glitched and flew out somewhere. I suppose my only option. Okay, I can't even turn on the thing because it's borked up over there. Uh, oh, that is here. Okay, is this? Okay, so that's on. I mean, that's accessible. So let's try this. I see. I need to to power it. And I'm assuming I'm opening the door. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess, since it looks to be safe. Beautiful, I'm not gonna complain about that. But I do need light to be able to get to that. Can I maybe... That's locked. Let's see. Oh, there's another one up here too. Danger high voltage. Oh, that- okay. So can I... I have to say that Jesse is so freaking sick. Wait, did it say danger high voltage? Do I have to move this then? Because it's- that's the light that I obviously need, right? This is- Clearly a puzzle. This powers. Okay, so let's. Nope. I am so sorry. This. This. And I guess let's see if I can do this first. I see. Okay. And now this. I believe. There. And that should. Get the light. I mean, the uh, thing over here, right? Is that not strong enough? Do I have to... Oh, do I have to time it? That's gonna suck for me. Um, okay, I gotta make sure that the light, I guess, is here. That's not what I was expecting. But we will- oops, I- oh my god. Jesse's stronger than I had ever imagined. What does this one do then? Oh, this one goes this way. Okay, let's try this. See if this works. Yeah. Cool. Now, am I going to die if I step in the light because it said danger high voltage? No, it's good. And then I'm going to need to bring it all the way down to the other end. It's fine, it's just the shadows talking over there. It's nothing new or unusual. Uh, now I need to stop in front of the stairs. Kinda. So let's see if we can... I'm, I'm thinking that from here I can get a better view of it than what it was over there. That's quite nice, quite helpful. Maybe right about here? And we'll grab it. This has made me really... Close enough. Honestly, close enough. Made me appreciate managing my resources. So now we'll take this and throw it in there. And are you freaking shitting me? It's one whole ass battery just to power one stupid door? Somebody needs to rethink how they're using energy in this facility because it doesn't. Oh! That doesn't seem to be sufficient. Is this mine from before? I doubt it. Because be pretty intense and it came all the way through the wall. Okay. Well, then we're gonna go us forward, I guess. That's not good. Wait, what? 
Okay. Let's not hesitate. Oh, oh my god. No! Did, uh, Albert is dead. Oh, okay. Take a deep breath because from the music and from the gate, definitely looks like we've got another boss battle coming up, so... Find Hartman. Oh, there, there he is, the tall boy himself. Okay, um... I love... Oh. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me change the mission because I am kind of completely turned around. We are... Oh yeah, I forgot I had to do this. Would you guys want me to do another, like, catch-up thing where I do these? Otherwise, since uh, you kind of know how it went the first time with the other catch-up, I have a feeling it may be very similar. So let me know if you want a video by itself on these three things. Uh, and I'm assuming that this is the one. Shoom. There's no information about it. Jessie begins her search for Hartman checking the sector's AWE investigation wings. She manages to return power to the Eagle Limited AWE site and chases Hartman out of the area's corridors. I really need to remember to be picking that kind of stuff up. Because I always keep forgetting. Oh, I miss this too. Shoom Arcade Cabinets. I hope I didn't pass it. Investigations sector processing underway. Okay, so maybe we just haven't seen it yet. It's somewhere down here. Containment procedure. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Between the items. Are there- oh, there's several of them because they're arcade cabinets. Okay. Description. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets originally designed for the game's Shum A- I-40A and Shum 2. Polgar's Revenge, AI-40B. I like how those- I'm so used to seeing the little emoji faces right with the two colons, so like, like those look like faces to me. The games were manufactured by Bond Co. Entertainment, now one of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other Shum cabinets have been found by our investigators. Oh, so there's only two. And they have to be kept 10 feet apart from each other to suppress their effect. Okay, so together they're like crazy powerful. When touching one of the items, it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart. I see. The user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. So it's a video game in a video game. Those are fun. But that. But if this was IRL, that sounds kind of horrifying because if you die in the game, then you die in real life, right? Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficacy are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. That is kind of horrifying. That sounds... I'm sure that it's fine. It sounds horrifying, though. Okay, so I need to get out of here. But he broke my baby, so... Ew, 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 ew. I really wish that they gave subtitles for what he was saying. <gasps> no, 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 no. He's turning off the lights. Sir, would really appreciate if you didn't turn off the lights. Okay, this one came back on, but it's definitely flickering. So that means that this is not necessarily timed. It's just, I don't have a lot of time. And I gotta kind of be ducking in and out. Otherwise he's gonna come and haunt my ass. That is not what I wanted. I'm way too far away. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. It's fine. We are Jesse, and it's fine. I don't know where this plug needs to go, so if I could find it, that would be just lovely. Where does it go? Where does it go? No, no! Huh? Oh. 
Oh, there's a thing down there. How do I... Uh, this way, maybe? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Didn't know that this was down here, but I'm glad that I came to have a look. Actor for Hire. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished that you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or woman, an adult or child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today is your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens and I am the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, a swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I'll be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies. That's so freaking sick. Sir, sir, can I shake your hand? Because that's freaking sick. Okay. All right. Okay, I looked it up because I would have never come to this conclusion. That means that there's another one also. I didn't realize that the cracks... Oh, there's another one in there. Oh, no, that's not another one. Squeeze this in. Oh my god. I would have never come to that conclusion. Don't ask me why. That's just one. Can I do this? Easy. Find him in the Frau Moreau AWE. Okay. I don't. What? I don't know. That's just not how my brain works, okay? Like, I don't have any other reason for why I didn't think about cracking through the walls. It's a new mechanic that I wasn't formally introduced to, so. Madame Butt didn't realize. Does this just leave through? wish that I had something heavy enough. There we go. It did. Which is fine. I, I just had to satisfy my curiosity after that. Didn't know. It's cool. It's cool. But now we know that we can break through walls. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Glad I took the time to take a look. Pretty freaking sick. Uh... Let's see. I'm just in shock and in awe of, of all of this. Okay, take it easy, take it easy. Oh! Am I safe here? It's pretty dark. Okay, I have a feeling that we got a boss battle coming up after this, so I think it's probably good that we call it here. But I want to take a look at my files very quick to see if we have anything talking about this place. So I'm a little concerned because I don't know anything about the Fra Maro. And, uh, where are we? Yeah, it looks like- it look, okay, I see. So we'll have to do a little bit more fighting and then we can probably come up to him and beat the shit out of his ass. So I love beating the shit out of asses. Okay. Yeah, I think that I'm comfortable with stopping here for today. Keep it- keep it a little light. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, throw those babies down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification when the next episode is out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!